Hey everybody, Eric Poncho here, and we are back playing Super Mario Sunshine. Just a little bit of a cut there, not really a cut as in between videos, but uh, my, this is actually my second time recording this because the first time around, my uh, footage for the, for the video you're watching now, the, the second half of this fight got messed up on my screensaver. For some reason, if my screensaver kicks in while I'm recording, it deletes like all the footage that had, that had been recorded up until that point. It's really strange, I have no idea why. That's just, I don't know why they would, why the program has that bug, but meh. There's not really anything I can do about it. So we're back, fighting PD again. The only difference will be that the, sh the shine will be blue instead of yellow, but it really isn't a difference at all. Besides, you know, it's no practical difference. You, the, you play through the levels exactly the same way as many times as you want. And the only difference is that first time the shine's yellow, and every time after that it's not. Too close. Oh, no, I did get him. Okay, wow. That was lucky. I think some of the goo around here so the little spooge monsters don't get me. Dude, he's already, he's already getting the water. Dude, I was on the wrong side of him, man. That's not cool. Meh. Now he's flying over the wall. Oh, don't go over there, dude. Now I gotta go follow him. Where'd he go? What the hell is this guy? He's over there. Gotta get over there before he starts moving again. Got him. Alright, now we wait for our opportunity. Or if we keep throwing tornadoes like he did last time around. Come on, do it. You know you want to. No, not that. Whoop, yeah, he's rolling his head around. Middle hell. Get out of here. There he goes, that's what I wanted to see. Am I gonna get hit? I'm about to. Oh, he had him just enough water before I got nailed. That's good. And that'll do it. Again, it's a three blow fight. This one is just a little bit longer because you have to chase him around in between blows. <coughs> Excuse me. Just starting to get over my cough. Hey, it's a blue shine. It's just as good as a red shine. Er, red shine? No, yellow ones. Like, golden yellow shines. But as you can see, the shine count at the top is actually seven. That would actually be shine number six, if, uh, if things were going properly. So there's number six. And the next one that we're going to get is seven, because the footage for that one got deleted as well. Stupid screensaver. Anyway, yeah, it really wants us to know about that, that uh, building over there that's covered in goo, but honestly, I don't care that much about it yet. Because the, the one we're headed to right now is actually a fun level. It's a good level for grinding lives, too. Shadow Mario. Wait, that's not it. We want Secret of the Dirty Lake. It automatically puts you at the most, uh, like the f most recent one, I guess, I could say. I don't know. Whichever level has the highest number, it automatically puts you at that one. So it put me at 7, because that's where I am, technically. But here we are recording 6 again. <coughs> mm. And if you run through these little spouts of water that are shooting out here, it actually automatically refills your tank. That's what that sound is. And you can see the little water sparkles coming off of Mario. <coughs> Excuse me. So this is the secret of the Dirty Lake, and as you can see in this episode, the lake has got this crap on it. It basically just... you can't touch the surface of the water, or you'll take damage. But yeah, you can, however, use these lily pads. They sort of just, like, squirt with the squirt no nozzle in the direction opposite the direction that you want to go. And, you know, the whole, like, Newton's third law, equal and opposite reaction thing will shoot you in the direction that you want to go. <laughs> Newton's third law. I wonder if you... how many of you guys actually know what I'm talking about when I talk about Newton's laws? How about this? If you guys know the first two, post them in the comments. No cheating. Anyway, normally you're supposed to ride the lily pads over here, but I like to just run over here and get a uh, spin attack. A spin attack, a spin jump, and then use the hover nozzle because you actually can land all the way over on one of these logs. And taking a hit really doesn't mean anything. And for some reason, you can walk on this part here. I have no idea why. I mean, you could easily hover all the way into this cave, but meh. <laughs> Do, do, do. This is a pretty cool secret. It's actually a, kind of a long one for early in the game. I'm surprised that they made the second one this difficult. But, uh, you see the- I have the flood! And that's kind of weird, because I'm not supposed to have the flood. I suppose this is my second time playing through, so I'm just not going to use it. Also, this pimple here? 
<laughs> that's, we're gonna come back and pop that to get a shine later. It actually, it's actually a red coin challenge. So anyway, oh, this is gonna be so weird having it on my back but not using it. It's gonna feel really strange. All right, so with these platforms, they flip uh, in a very, in an easy to perceive pattern. They flip uh, all of one color flips, and then all of the other color flips. And so, it's pretty easy if you just pay attention. And then you got an extra life right there at the very beginning. So if you can make it past that first platform bit, you get a life. So if you die later, you'll come out even. I actually ended up gaining a few lives when I was filming this, because I died a couple times. But I died after I'd picked up two extra lives, and so because there's another one coming up. So I ended up actually coming out ahead as far as lives are concerned. Now we wait... And go! You don't want to get caught by those platforms there. Because they'll shoot you right off the edge. Now this is another tumbling block here. You saw we, we went across on one, and now we have another smaller one that's just a bit harder to stay on. Cause, just because it is smaller. And turns a little bit faster, I think. And it also goes two directions at once, like it did just then. The hardest part is that right at the end there, when it turns away from the cam directly away from the camera, it's really hard to tell how, m how much of a slope you're on when you're looking directly at the surface. Alright, now this is the hardest part. There's the shine right over there. We're getting near the end. You can't really see it, but it is over there. So wait for the yellow to flip, and then go for it. Oh, what the hell was that? Dude, he totally grabbed that edge, and he just immediately let go. That's bogus. That's shenanigans, man. That is complete shenanigans. Anyway, but as you can see, I came in with seven lives, and now I have eight, because I actually picked up both of the uh, extra lives on that last bit. Whoop! That was a little tricky. That's a, that's a little bit faster way to get across there. I figured that one out last time around. And you do have to do a bit of a, a wall kick. I guess it's a wall jump is what they're called. Oh, they're, I'm going to be making a video soon of the uh, advanced techniques. Basically, just stuff that you might not discover on your own. Of, like, things that you can do to have better platforming in this game. And that video will be going up before too long. It's actually going to have a link to it in, in an earlier episode. Because I've realized that, like, I'm getting to, like, part 4 or 5 of the LP, and I, ha I never actually talked about the control scheme of the game. Which most players will already know. I mean, it's Mario. But the Flood does add a few new aspects, and there's some stuff in this game that's kind of cool. So there'll be a video of that before too long. And you guys will be able to check that out. I'm actually going to go on my other account and make it my other login so I can show you guys the Yoshi bits, too. Anyway, we'll wait here for a second for that orange one to come back, because I'm not about to miss that jump again. I thought I was close enough, but I didn't have enough speed. I could have dove in midair, and I might, might have done it, but when you dive, there's no way to grab onto edges. And see, I thought I was going to make it close enough to grab the edge, but it turned out that Mario, for some reason, didn't like that edge. No idea why, so... Alright, so orange to blue, then back to the orange, and then back to the blue. We'll go over to this orange one here, and now this one. Now you have to wait for a second. Now we're near the end, and we're not actually going to be able to uh, get over there for a second. We're going to have to wait. We need to get to this orange one, and then we can go! And you see we also have another blue shine here. You guys have already picked that one up. So there we go, second try, that's not so bad. Shine! And that brings us up to date, so now that seven shine count in the upper left hand corner is actually correct. That was a long loading screen there. There's not really loading screens in this game, although you do get dark screens after the shines where it's loading with Delfino Plaza. Alright, so we'll go back in. So now we're gonna do number seven, shrine num er, shine number seven. This is the new one. Shadow Mario on the loose, and every single world you go to, which there'll be seven worlds, each of them, in each world, the seventh shine, will essentially be nothing but a scene where you chase Shadow Mario around and shoot water at him. Because he's got, like, a shine or something, I guess, so we're chasing his ass, trying to squirt him. Because for some reason, he, like, water hurts him, I don't know, maybe he's made of the paint that he uses to... I don't know, but he can go swimming, but us squirting him damages him. And it's just, I always thought that was so weird when I played this game. As a kid and such. Hey, 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 don't be running to me like that. Get, yeah, Mario, get off your ass, dude. When, he gets, when Mario gets knocked down by uh, Shadow Mario, he stays down for a bit, so you want to keep a little bit of distance between you and Shadow Mario as you sort of just chase him around. He doesn't do much anything particularly, like, nimble or agile on this first playthrough. He does a couple wall kicks here, but I think he ends up, like, immediately coming back to the ground. Yeah, he just jumps right back down, so don't even bother going up there after him. It's hard to squirt him while you're jumping around the air anyway. <laughs> I'll remember this. Right, okay. Great. And I don't, I'm not going to read the, the voice for him, because that character actually has a voice later on, and I cannot imitate it at all, well at all. 
so I'm not even gonna insult you guys by doing that. Shine! Alright, so that's eight. Getting a quick start to this game. A lot of the shines are pretty short, like you see that one took like a minute, I think. So there we go. Ah, Alright, so that's seven of... Well, I guess I can show you guys the uh, total screen. Since we have a, a, a bit here, just like a minute I think left. Go! If you hit the Z button at, the, and at any time, you can open up the, t the total screen over here or click A. Here, every world you've been to will be shown, as well as all the shines you've gotten for it. And I believe that each world is going to have a total of 11 shines each. I think so. That, that, you can do the math on that, figure out how many that would be. That would be 77. There's 120 total. And then like 30 come from blue coins, so that would be 107. And then 13 in Delfino Plaza? That seems about right. I don't know if that's exact or not, but... Oh well, and you can look at all the areas you've been to as well, and see how many blue coins you've gotten if you've lost count. Anyway, but I'm running out of time, so I'll see you guys next time on Let's Play Super Mario Sunshine.